Hey, did you get a chance to read all of these cool Easter cards that we got this year? I, I've read most of them at this point, and they have some very meaningful messages. They sure do. I really liked this one, too. It says, Easter blessings for pastor and wife, and then they added, and husband and pastor. Now that's clever, since in the season of Easter, we both proclaim this message. Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> well, I, ironically, as you sit down with me, I'm reading the earliest Easter letter. What do you mean? I'm reading one of John's letter to the people of old. Oh, that is really cool. I never thought of it that way, but we do have one of the first Easter letters that we can still read today from the Apostle John himself. Absolutely, and it's a love letter to the people, and in that letter he talks about how God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all, and what's even more powerful is he talks about how in one's confession of sins that the witness of Christ shines through. The love of God shines through the world. In everything? In everything. Now that's good news. That is good news. Join us this Easter season as we dive into this love letter to us, the people of God today, from the earliest disciples. And the message from long ago is the same message that we hear today. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. We'll see you on Sunday. See you then.